Okay, let's look at uh, the second method which we can use to uh, isolate nitrogen from air using heated copper this time round. Yes, how? Let's discover how we can use heated copper to isolate nitrogen from air. Okay, let's discover the apparatus that we need to use during this process. Uh, the apparatus that we need to use during this process, the apparatus to be used, uh, the apparatus to be used during this process, we need two wash bottles. We need two wash bottles. Uh, we need delivery tubes. We need delivery tubes. Uh, we need the combustion tube or the combustion chamber. We need the combustion uh, tube. Uh, and then we need uh, a trough. And then finally, we need a gas jar. Then let's look at the uh, reagents or the chemicals that we need. Or let's look at the reagents we need during this uh, experiment, during this process. Uh, the chemical, let's look at the chemical materials needed. The chemical materials needed. Uh, we need caustic soda. We need caustic soda. We need copper metal and uh, we need uh, basically uh, those two materials. We need copper metal and we need uh, caustic soda. Uh, let's look at the diagrammatic arrangement for the setup of this experiment. Okay, this is the diagrammatic setup uh, for the arrangement that is used to isolate uh, nitrogen from air using heated copper. Yeah, in this setup, um, we have got the first wash bottle. In the first wash bottle, uh, water is being poured in the first wash bottle and the purpose of water being poured in the first wash bottle is to displace the air in the first wash bottle so that displaced air comes into the second uh, wash bottle where uh, there is caustic soda. And the purpose of caustic soda in this second wash bottle is to remove carbon dioxide gas by reacting with it to form sodium carbonate. Uh, then we have got uh, the combustion tube and in the combustion tube we have got uh, heated copper metal and as we are going to discover uh, this heated copper metal reacts with oxygen gas producing copper to oxide which is black in color and in this way oxygen okay has been removed then the remaining gas here uh, is nitrogen gas which is lead 
into yeah which is collected uh over water into uh the gas jar 